Your favorite celebrities have been sporting the heavily sought after Hermes Birkin bag for years. It has become a symbol of luxury and exclusivity. However, there is a new player on the market that has taken the fashion world by storm. The Telfar shopping bag can be found slung over the shoulders of the ultra chic all over the world. Only caveat is, the bag has become impossibly difficult to get. What? This has led people to ask, could the Telfar shopping bag be the new Birkin? New Age Luxury the Telfar shopping bag has been dubbed the Bushwick Birkin. Referencing the stylish Brooklyn, New York natives who tote the bag, the term Bushwick Birkin coined by artist Zaya Rachel could not be more accurate. The Telfar shopping bag is the new IT bag. Where Hermes is classic and seeped in history, the Telfar shopping bag is fresh and seeped in culture. Both bags are must-haves for any fashionista, but both are incredibly tough to get your hands on. But what is the Telfar shopping bag and why has it risen in popularity so quickly? How the Telfar brand started. Telfar Clemens, founder of the brand Telfar, was born in one of the fashion capitals of the world, New York. He and his family briefly moved to their homeland, Liberia, when he was younger, but he moved back to Queens, New York by the age of five. Clemens started Telfar at 19, and the philosophy of his brand was to create an inclusive and accessible brand. Before he started his brand, he often felt like fashion brands did not see him as a viable customer. This meant that the fashion he saw around him was simply out of reach. Telfar started creating items which were, as Clemens describes them, genderless, democratic, and transformative. He wanted to create a brand for the outcasts in the fashion industry, those who adored fashion but weren't white or rich enough to have access to it. Clemens first released the Telfar shopping bag, an item that would become his most sought after product in 2014. Clemens took inspiration from the Bloomingdale's shopping bags that he would see on the streets in New York. Clemens wanted to use the symbol of New York fashion and functionality as a blueprint for a fresh, genderless bag. He debuted the shopping bag at his autumn winter 2014 collection. Why does everyone have a Telfar bag? It wasn't until Telfar Clemens won the CFDA Accessory Designer of the Year Award in 2017 that the brand really gained momentum. Clemens used the $400,000 prize to take the shopping bag to a whole new level. Telfar added more colors and sizes to the range. Despite broadening the range, Clemens kept the bag affordable. The fact that the bag is made of vegan leather made it easier for the price to be kept low. 2020 was the year that Telfar shopping bag really rose in popularity. The brand had been quietly worn by uber cool New Yorkers for years, but in 2020 it became mainstream. It is easy to understand why the bag is so beloved. It is affordable, between $150 and $257, but still luxurious. It is timeless, but still fashionable. The fact that the bag is also always sold out adds to its exclusivity. And we already know that some people are willing to do anything to get something just because it's exclusive. The bag started popping up on celebrities and influencers and by July of 2020, fans of the Telfar brand crashed the website when the shopping bag was restocked. Since then, the bag has been featured on shows like Insecure and worn by Queen Bee herself, Beyonce. Even Oprah added it to her list of favorite things. How the Buy Black movement helped grow Telfar. Having paparazzi photograph celebrities wearing the bag certainly helped the brand's growth, but perhaps this growth could also be attributed to the Buy Black movement that really spiked in 2020. Founded by Kevin King, Muhammad Mangum, and Ryan Williams, the Buy Black movement urged consumers to put their support and coins behind black business owners. The movement really gained traction during the Black Lives Matter protests which were sparked by the murder of George Floyd. The movement enjoyed so much traction that searches for the phrase black owned went up by 617% in Yelp reviews. Telfar Clemens and his fellow black designers, Virgil Abloh, founder of the brand Off-White, and Kirby Jean Raymond, founder of Pyre Moss, gave customers black owned luxury fashion brands to support. How to get the bag that is always sold out, Regardless of what caused this massive rise in consumers, Clemens and his business partner Babic Ravoy were shocked by how quickly the bags flew off the shelves. The point of the brand was never to emulate the cliquish fashion world that they grew up seeing. After all, their slogan is, not for you, for everyone. Wanting to keep the brand accessible for most people, they created the bag security program. This program allowed customers to pre-order the shopping bag. The program was also created to stem the rise of shopping bags which were being resold for ridiculous prices. The bag security program is still available to customers, but it could be months before you're donning the elusive bag. If you simply cannot wait that long, then try option B. Research when the next bag restock is happening, make sure the Wi-Fi is working, and keep your credit card details close. 
As soon as the restock is live, grab a bag and hope to heck that you check out in time. If this option is just too much for your frayed nerves, then try option C, the less exciting option. Simply find a reseller. Of course, you will pay more than if you bought it from Telfar or its stock is. Is a Telfar bag a good investment? If you're considering taking the plunge and trying to get your hands on an elusive shopping bag, you might also want to know if the bag is a good investment. The Real Real, a luxury consignment company, has reported that there is a 590% year-over-year increase in demand for the bag. The small black shopping bag is particularly in high demand because this is the most popular size and color combination. Regardless of the color and size, the bag is a great investment because you will always have someone willing to take the bag off your hands. That's if you can bring yourself to let it go. More than anything, Telfar's greatest success has been in how the brand has made people feel. Fashion has always been a way for people to buck the norm and express themselves. The important difference with Telfar is that people are able to express themselves with a brand that truly values their identity. Customers of Telfar have described themselves as feeling recognized or black AF while wearing the brand. Building that kind of emotion among your customer base is not an easy feat, and it's a testament to Clemens and Radboy's incredible ability to build a brand that holds its value close. Maybe this value-focused way of building a brand is the future of fashion. Maybe established luxury brands need to catch up or risk fading into obscurity. If you're looking to find out more about when the next shopping bag restock will happen, head to www.telfar.net or check out their Instagram pages.